Order. So section 3.7 of the contract requires Medivy to assure that advanced life support is available on every ambulance. This means at least one advanced care paramedic in every ambulance. This is not happening. Question to the Minister of Health and Wellness. What is the penalty to Medivy if they are not meeting the advanced life support requirement in their contract with this government? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And with regard to uh, the Honourable Member's uh, question, uh, uh, advanced care paramedics, uh, I'll be honest, I have reviewed the contract. I have not focused on the exact uh, uh, area of that contract that the Honourable Member has uh, referenced. I will certainly, I'll go back, take a look at that, and bring back information on that, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Mermaid Stuffer. That's concerning, Mr. Speaker, because that's Section 3.7. And Medivy Island EMS was required to come into compliance in 2007. So the fact that you don't know that they're actually meeting that not meeting that requirement is super concerning because the level of care matters. Mr. Speaker, imagine your loved one calls 911. They're having a seizure. The paramedics that arrived are trained with basic level of care. That's a PCP paramedic. Um, but they, uh, sorry, but the paramedics that arrive, they're only trained in the basic level of care, um, and they need an advanced care paramedic to administer the medication that will stop the seizures. They have no option but to load up the patient in and drive to the closest hospital, hoping for the best, knowing how critical that time is. Mr. Minister, the, con the contract calls for advanced life supports because it saves Islanders' lives. Why are you intent on auto-renewing a contract with a private company that is putting Islanders' lives at risk. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you. And uh, I think it's a pretty broad statement that this company is putting Islanders' lives at risk. Mr. Speaker, I agree 100% with the questions that have been brought forward, that uh, the concern that I've heard from all areas of uh, all members in this legislature Yes, there needs to be service improvements. I've referenced the additional 13 paramedics that will be part of uh, Island EMS as we do move forward. Additional vehicles that will be placed on the road as well, Mr. Speaker. These are just a couple of the initiatives that are taking place. And uh, yes, we have to do better. We will do better. Thank you. Mermaid Stratford. Last night I received another shocking email from an island paramedic and for their safety they used a burner account and false name to, to protect and hide their identity. The Premier says all islanders are safe to speak up but those that are working on the front line strongly disagree and are frankly insulted that he would pretend that that's not the case. Question to the Minister of Health. A recent call for a child seizing came in and the closest ambulance was almost 40 minutes away. How many tragedies are you willing to accept before you're willing to do something? Well, Mr. Speaker, I guess I would have to answer that question in two different uh, respects. Uh, with regard to paramedics, uh, I've spoke with them. Ones on this side of, uh, of the house have spoken with them. Any paramedic can reach out to me, have a conversation, put forward their concerns at any point in time in complete confidence. And Mr. Speaker, I assure that to every paramedic that is working right across this province in any area of the health care delivery system. With regard to the second part of uh, the honorable member's uh, question, uh, do I feel that's uh, acceptable? No. And that's why we are looking, we are working actively to make improvements here, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Oh. 